Hey everybody, I'm Philip. And I'm Justin. And together we are pajamas. And this is an impromptu emergency video. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Before you left for work, uh, the new Hell of a Boss had just dropped. Yes. Um, so we had no time to watch it before you left. So we're, we said when you got home, mm -hmm. in between getting home and unwinding and before bed, mm -hmm. we would try and fit it in. Tee -hee. And so that's what we're doing. We are nocturnal. It is becoming daylight out. The traffic is going to be louder and louder as we go. So just be prepared for that. But it is worth it because we want to watch this very bad. Yes. I was very excited when I saw the thumbnail. Yes. Yes. Fair play for dropping it on Halloween. Well played. So I have no idea what this is, but we are going to find out. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Rabbit demon horniness. <laughs> Ooh, uh oh. Woo, that was a fuck ton of lumberjacks. I'm still so <laughs> Well, you better stay. Jazz, gotcha. Babe, because guess where I'm taking you tonight? Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Sides, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir, it's our one-year marriage anniversary, so I'm taking Millie to Ozzy's in the Lust Ring. <gasps> Ozzy's? No way! That place is always booked! Yeah, well, I've been planning it for quite a while. Moxie! Ah, you, can you do not? I'm sorry, sir. Maybe another time. Oh, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate your boring as fuck monogamy. Uh, no. <laughs> the reservation is for us. Uh huh. Just us. Mm hmm. Without you there. Explicitly without you there. I'll wear something nice. It's a big deal after all. Yeah. See you, love bugs, later. Relax, sweetie. Don't let him get to you today. Let's just go home and clean this blood off. Elevator 666, departing for lust in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, rainbow board. <laughs> yeah, it's Luna. Whoever you are, go for it. Hey, Looney. Just want to let you know I'm not going to be back home until real late. I got something important tonight. Hey <laughs> there, everybody. You got a reservation? Oh, yeah, I'm with those two. This club is for couples only. It's what? No date, no reservation, no entry. Y you know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking prude! <laughs> Hello, hello, Blitzy. Stolas. <laughs> hey, you, uh, too busy tonight? Um, why do you ask? I was wondering if you 
Want to come with me to a club tonight? Are you asking me on a date, Pitsy? I, yes, I suppose that is what's happening. How fast can you get down to Lust? I can be ready in 20. All right, fantastic. See you soon. I'll see you, Blitzy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Blitzy. I'm here. That wow. is so you. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> well, well, I, I just wanted to look a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess this is, huh? You again? Beat it, shithead! Ahem. Do we have a problem? Oh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, my apologies, your highness. Uh, please, go right in. <laughs> oh my! Oh no! No, but yes! Oh, Blitz! How romantic is this? What made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh, it just sounded like I just thought we'd have a blast here, you know? God. Gotcha! Oh, Blitz! What are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing. How about that? Can I get you two off? I mean, start you two off with some drinks. Yes, um, perhaps some wine to share. Do you prefer red wine or white blitz? Or perhaps some champagne? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> perhaps all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, blitz, how was your day? Huh? Poor Stolas. Oh, that good, I guess. We killed a bunch of beardos. That sounds fun. How did you kill them? How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't know, bullets? Right, right. So, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I see some sexy faces around here tonight. Welcome, welcome to Ozzy's. Lust Ring's number one place for all kinds of sick, twisted fantasies. Put on display for all you sleaze and sleazettes. The gem joint of Osmodius himself. Come on, give him some love. Did he just say Osmodius? Oh, no fucking way. Not him. I am the one and only Fizzarali. Some of you might recognize this dashing clown face from my numerous toy logic replicas across the rings of hell. Gloriously designed by the big man himself and, uh, ribbed for your pleasure tonight. We have a great lineup for you tonight. Ferocica Mayday, Wet Dream, and The Squirters. But as everyone's warming up, I got a funny one for y'all. Did any of you hear about the bat shittery that happened at Lululand? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh, wow. You know, I'll tell you what, I'd sure love to shake the hand of the crazy son of a bitch who decided to burn down that off-brand shithole and then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking uh, to sue. That robo-me made us more money entertaining those kids than the ones we sell to get you freaks off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean! I have four of them! <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. So, without <laughs> wasting any more time, our little opening act is a fresh one. Coming at us from a little imp from the Wrath Ring, give it up for Moxie! With no creative stage name whatsoever! Hello, everyone. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. It's an honor <laughs> really? to play. Uh, hurry up, bullet. Uh, sing, boy. I say, I say. This song is for my beautiful wife, a surprise for our first anniversary. I love you, Millie. I love you more than the brimstone loves the fire. More than Bielsa loves her bum More than a maggot loves gangrenous stubs You make my spirit sing 
Yeah, you make me glad I live in hell. Our <laughs> love is a story sweet to tell. Yeah, you cast a special satanic spell over my heart. Love is a journey we decided to start. Yeah, I hope we'll never ever be apart. I love you, 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 I love you. <laughs> You're singing love songs in my lustful lounge. Ozzy's ain't the place for sentimental sounds. What you expect from a proprietor like us? Your demon host, Osmodius, the embodiment of lust. Give me a thrust. You show me some love. From the groin to the bust, in desire we trust in the house of Osmodius. <laughs> Trumpet. Hey, little imp, you came here to sing your serenade. Perform your feelings on a velvety stage. Well, we got a saying that's popular in these pods. Only little bitches strum the strings in their hearts. Ooh. You want to hang around this lustful town? Ditch the lovey dovey before we knock you around. Here we sing about wants and desire. Depravity, savagery, loins hotter than fire. So give me a thrust. Show me some lust. <laughs> From the groin to the bust. Little imp, you just must. In the house of Osmodius. Come on, sing us a song. Make sure the subject is getting it on. Make it rough and tactically loud. Be sure to rhyme song and schlong. Go ahead, your mic's on. I want to. Yeah, what do you want? Butt stuff, piss play, bondage. Make gentle love to you. Uh, with a lip dick, M. You're really killing the vibe. Get a load of this dweeb and his unsatisfied ride. Hey, now, I've watched those two pork many times. What? Blitz! And honestly, they make Missionary look relatively exciting. Is that Blitz, though? So you're showing your face? Hey, everybody! This guy's a total disgrace. Some nerve you got to comment on a relationship. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit. Oh, Blitzo, I used to dance. Oh, no. oh Rosica, you're here. I'd stroke on my plate. Yeah, but when it was my turn, he didn't know reciprocate. A selfish imp in the sheets. I'm just as bad in the streets. A reckless, heartbreaking at your table is your data even prince stoke is that you are you sleeping with an imp Woo! my dark lord how the mighty do fall you used to have a smoking wife a kid you had it all i hope you didn't give it up so you and him could get it up you sold your life for a thrust now that's the spirit of the love i get more in a bust you better get your hair must Pretend you don't see that crust Hop to your jump to the dust In the house of our love I think you were trying to sing something for me, Mox Yeah, I was I love us I love us just the way we are Don't have to pretend to like to do things we don't I've always got you around to laugh at my stupid jokes Cause I love you. Cause I love you. Hmm. You know what? This was a mistake. All right, let's just let's just leave. Oh, right. Of course. Ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, 
thank you for inviting me out tonight. Despite everything that's happened, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. But, you know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could... I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk, or watch a movie, or maybe cuddle. Stolas, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just, I, I can't do it tonight, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. I was so sad. Yes, it was. It's supposed to make us laugh. <laughs> Not... <laughs> there was also that. Yeah, there was. There was. But uh, I thought we were doing so well with Blitz and Stolas. And, uh... It appears that the issues that Blitz needs to take care of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see it from, well, as far as the way it ended, I can see it from his point of view. Like, he was embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely embarrassed. But also, it's kind of shitty of him to use Stolas. Like, yeah. like it kind of. He's acting all like sanctimonious about stuff. I'm like, you're the one that was deceiving. Stolas, Stolas was so excited to go on a date with you. Yes. Like, was looking as best he could, put on his makeup. I was worried that he was going to have his heart broken. That his well, expectations would be too high, and it yeah. turned out that. Yes. Yeah. They were. Yeah. And then the line that uh, Blitz said where you know, the only reason you want me around is to for me to fuck you. You make that perfectly clear. And it's like... Uh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, this one was <laughs> gut punch too. Man. It's a part one, is it? Yes. Called Finale, I think. Uh, finale part one. Aussies. Mm -hmm. So to break us out of our malaise, <laughs> that was very sad. <laughs> Holy crap. We had uh, Osmodius. Yes. Which was very cool. Um, the club and everything. Yes. I recognized the sigil when I saw it. Mm. Cool. They also made sure to have him have three heads, mm -hmm. which is what he's said to have. He's also a demon king, which... Mm. Since he's a king of hell, mm -hmm. I think that that actually puts him higher than Stolas mm -hmm. as far as social standing. Yeah. Which means that all of this happened in front of a king. Ooh. Which shows the gravity of the situation. Ooh, yeah. That's interesting because even then, Stolas was just all about... Like, yeah, he, he, Stolas was embarrassed too. 
Yes. Like, Blitz wasn't the only one that was embarrassed there. Yes. So, like, I want to see it from his point of view, like I said just a few moments ago, but Stolz was also embarrassed. Probably worse, because I didn't know that, so... Yes. In the Oscoatia social hierarchy, he is a very serious character. Yeah. So, dang. And, yes, he is the demon of lust, basically, in different grimoires. He is mm. specifically all about that. So that was accurate as well? Yes. That's very cool. I love how they do their homework. Like, it's not just, like, a little funny thing that takes place in hell. It's from, from like, a lore perspective. They do their homework. We had another musical number, like we always do. This time we had, like, a trifecta going on. We had Millie and uh, Moxie's love song. Mm -hmm which was very sweet. I could uh, see us singing that to each yes. other. Especially that little, little last bit there. Because we are sappy and romantic and <laughs> probably disgustingly so. It's why we found this ending to be very touching. Yes, yes. It was bittersweet. The pathos was done very well. Yes, yes. Yes, 100% agree. Then we had Osmodius's contribution. And then we yes. had... Uh, After all, it's not the ring of love, it's the ring of lust. What are yeah. people going there for? Yeah. And well, you saw the audience. Yeah. <laughs> so and then, I, uh, from a business point of view, he did have a point. Yeah, yeah. And then we had Verasica join in. I was like, yes. oh man, this is like She's Blitz. She's back. This is like Blitz's nightmare. We've got Verasica mm -hmm. and the clown thing mm -hmm. from Lululand and a king of hell. Mm-hmm. Blitz was embarrassed because of his past and shamed. Stolz was embarrassed because of his stature. Yes. Basically, it would. it's analogous to someone of royalty being with a plebeian or a yes. peasant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just, it was so sad how, 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 just how excited Stolz was because he legitimately thought that Blitz was asking him out on a date, like a real date. And not just using him I to... I felt very badly for him because yeah. he looked so excited. He was so happy. We were doing so well. <laughs> like the last episode was so nice. Yes, it seemed as uh... if the final kiss meant that, yeah. oh, they're finally building something. I think they are still... The Blitz has like a fucking mountain of issues. Yes. Like, Blitz, this is a prince of hell who is willing to be seen with you in public and show you affection in public and is clearly into you. All it takes is one little caress here for him to go, floof. <laughs> Come on. Fuck. Do more than that. <laughs> uh. And the soul is just like, hey, we could watch TV or talk. Which actually does sound like something that they need to do. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. And then Bliss is flipping through his phone and sees all the pictures. Memories. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Episode. And <laughs> now I'm sad. Ugh. And I'm filled with suspense about what's going to happen next. Yeah, and finale part two. And I'm hoping it's just season finale, not series finale. Oh, so do I. Yeah. When I saw a finale, I thought, oh no, not yet. Yeah, there's a lot of life left in this, in this series and in the lore that they're building. Like we have to, we have to get this Stolas Blitz happy ending. We have to. Although we still have that bounty hunter, yes, out there. So we have so many loose threads that it can't just be. But now I feel like I just need to go like mutual shots of alcohol just to make ourselves feel better. I wasn't expecting to feel depressed <laughs> after this. That was so fucking sad. I do know why this was done. It's to build up the suspense. Oh yeah. For one to then go into two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Blitz would just stop being a fucking asshole all the time and using people. I suspect that he uses it as a sort of defense mechanism. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. I'm just like, as I said, Stolas is willing to embarrass himself and put his own reputation at risk. Yes. Maybe fucking get over yourself. I understand that he's going through some shit, but it goes both ways to understand that other people do exist and they matter as well. But not to say that I don't feel for him, I do. I do. As an outside viewer <laughs> looking in, it's like, come on, poor Stolas even wore his like pretty little cape with the universe and stars yes. and stuff, which was fitting. This episode is just going to depress me whenever I think about it now, because all I'll think about is 
So let's get in the call, sad, eating cereal, gets a call from the man, the imp that he loves, drops everything, literally, puts on his finest everything to go on this date in public. No fucking involved, just a date. All because Blitz wanted to spy on and harass Moxie and Millie. And Stolas is so endearing and likes him so much and was so happy. And just, uh Like Stolas didn't even realize that he was just there to be. So that he could simply get into the club. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid feelings. It was an excellent work of drama. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. As always, well written. Yes. And yes, everything is well done. Like, we're invested in these characters. I understand them, but I really, really feel for Stolas in this one a lot. It shows that not only are they able to write comedy, they're also able to write drama. Yes. Yeah. Well, they, they did a good job in the last one with the mm -hmm. drama between uh, Moxie and um, Blitz in their songs. Yes. Like they did, like that was so, that was so well done. It was so, so well done. But yeah, this one was, I mean, it was funny, but it mm -hmm. left on the gut punch. I'm sure there's people out there that are team Blitz and that's totally cool. We're firmly team Stolas. Yes. So that's probably little Easter eggy things we missed because there usually are. Since it was our first time watching it, you picked up on the major things, the three heads and the sigil and that's that stuff and the lust and all that. Yes. When I saw, it was on the thumbnail, I saw that sigil and thought ah. and noticed Oh, he's going to be in this one. I kept it to myself, though, because I wanted it to be a surprise. You don't like spoilers. But yes. I thought the King Osmodius is involved in this episode, and it's very likely going to involve lust. I learned something new today. In addition to being, uh, to having my emotions walked all over by an animated show. Want to go to my notes? Yes. All right. <laughs> I feel like at this point, I'm just going to keep repeating the same things over and over and over. At first, I thought poor Moxie and Millie, like... They just want to go on their one-year anniversary together to this little sex club. A very and, exclusive one. Yeah, that Moxie had to book in advance. Fucking Blitz just can't fucking mind his business. Like, oh my god. I feel like I could go on a very lengthy rant about Blitz right now. But I'm not going to. How about if we simply say that he's very nosy? Moving on. <laughs> I just, I am really anti Blitz right now. I understand where Blitz is coming from. I said that. Doesn't make him any less of a douche. But I'm hoping that you saw him like swiping through the photos and mm -hmm. get emotional. And come on, buddy. Like, you're, you're, you're. It does show that there are some things that he does care about. Yeah. Well, and you, you even said the pathos. Yes. So. I'm here, I'm here for the entire journey, just right now. I'm really fucking irritated with the character at this point in time. I know that I know that that's lost in translation with like Doctor Who and stuff. I get shit for it. But at this point in time, the character is really bugging me, and I could rant about it. But I'm here for how the journey plays out, 100%. And it better end with either Stolas and Blitz together, or Blitz realizing what Stolas means to him. And what Stolas is sacrificing to be with him in public, nonetheless. And gets his shit straight. I loved the Lust Elevator. It'll be here in five minutes. <laughs> I thought so, that that was a good touch. That was really well done. I like the Helenova. So Telenova. So it's like a Spanish soap opera. Yes. Mexican soap opera. Yeah, it was really well done. Then, of course, we find out it is couples only. Mm -hmm. The club calls Stolas, of course, because he's... <sighs> And then the, oh, Blitzy, I'm here, is so him. It is so, that, that line 100% encapsulates Justin in the best way possible. It's not, a, in no way it's a negative thing. Just, you're so, like, flaunt, you like to flaunt. Yes, I do. Yes, oh, yeah. And you've done stuff like that. You've been like, I'm ready. When you're, like, when you, like, Get yourself ready yes. and you're ready to do something. He, yeah, he does. That was 100. Like we said, I've said before that Stolas is you, but that moment, the Oblitzi I'm here is 100% Justin. 100% Justin. With a grand entrance. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm not Blitz. I'm not like, ah. I'm like, 
Ooh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> and then it was their first real date. I was like, ah, uh, 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 I'm so happy. I remember I wrote poor Stolas. And then Stolas asks, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? And, uh, oh, I was wondering uh, if sub you Subterfuge. Would... Subterfuge is the answer to that, unfortunately. I was wondering if he was going to actually find out about that or if I it's wish going he to would somehow... Have. I wish he would have. Or if, well, that he would either find out about it or that somehow things would turn out in a way unexpected that would then make the night worth it anyway. Uh, yeah. Vermillion. Moxie did. Yes. <laughs> that song's awesome. So that was well, the music's always fantastic and this is well done. And I absolutely, I love, it's like Stolas is you in so many ways. I'm not Blitz at all. I hope not. <laughs> God. But then Millie and Moxie's relationship really mirrors ours in so many ways too. So it was just so sweet and endearing. So I guess we had, we had that nice balance, right? Sweet and endearing versus manipulative and sad. So and I still like the uh, running theme of Millie just getting super fucking jazzed on killing things like it fucking pushes all her buttons it's her passion in life it is other than uh moxie and that is all for my notes everything else are from my patrons or my patreon Ugh. bittersweet 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 yes that's an that's probably an excellent word to describe it definitely look forward to part two to this please don't stab us in the heart anymore i don't know if we can take it that was so uh there may, there may have been something that we missed or should have talked about, but I'm so wrapped up in my emotions of sadness and take a shot every time I say the word sad. But it was, it was. So well done on the writing for, you know, making us feel something like well, we said. Yes, it was meant to be that way. Mm -hmm. And well, since it did that, that means that it was well written. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add about this depressing as shit episode? Was some funny stuff. There was some funny stuff in there. But that last five minutes, holy crap. Still entertaining, though. I get, well, entertained per se when I see tragedy. Mm. Because it's still nevertheless a work of art. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, when I read Greek tragedies, I find them to be very entertaining. Not that I'm glad that the things in there are happening, but it's the way that it's presented that mm -hmm. it's very artistic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely art, and it's the best kind of art because it makes you feel something. Yes. And it's doing its job, so. And I love drama. Not in real life. <laughs> you seem to be pretty drama-free in real life. Oh, by drama, I mean in the realm of art. That's what, yeah, that's what I As mean. in yeah. people on a stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you won't find anybody less dramatic than Justin, unless he's making his grand entrance. And even then, it's drama for the sake of adulation, which he always receives. Thank you. There we go. We end with smiles. So there we go. Wrap this one up. Yes. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, ooh, this was a banger. As always, I don't have a fancy outro, so I'll simply say thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.